Yo, people around the world, YouTube subscribers. This is your boy Drizzy GFTP bringing another gaming for the people news where we hustle in these streets for gaming news. And of course, you ain't gonna hand the curse in this video because I've tried to get right with Chase. That's let's get to the topic at hand, people. According to Push Square, Battlefield 5 is might be shaping up to be in World War One. We got released a teaser trailer uh, on Thursday. And they should be releasing the trailer upon me finishing this video, which is today is Friday. So hopefully we'll get to see the video. If not, we'll probably see it later on, probably this evening or whatnot. We'll just have to see. Very excited. Hopefully they'll take it back instead of Modern Warfare because Battlefield have always done like an extreme with job on the on setting. Unlike uh Activision and Call of Duty. Which is now Call of Duty will be taking it in space. A lot of people don't want it to go in space. They want boots on the ground. But we can't judge the game right about now because we're only seeing like a snippet of the campaign. We'll just have to see the multiplayer. Hope they'll show that in June. In my next piece of news, according to Games Radar, uh, Nintendo NX might use 3DS style cards instead of discs. Uh, 3DS game cards from Nintendo seem to be very excited about the launch of NX in March 2017. It's even reported, reportedly working on a new type of chip that could bump up their memory limit from 8 gigabits to 32 gigabits. Um, let's see, uh, MoneyLink posted these findings after digging into Micronix. Recent financial reports, they indicate that Micronix is expected unusual good sales around the, the NX launch window. Uh, well, they'll be using, like, I guess, some type of specific chips where they won't have to use this no more. And they add 32 gigabits of memory. We'll just have to check that out. Uh, Nintendo has yet to come out and talk about this type of console. You know, even showing it. They haven't showed it or anything. I'm hoping they show it at E3. If not at E3, it'll be later on this fall. It, uh, probably, uh, PAX. Or whatnot, or uh, all these other conferences they be having. And in my final piece of news, uh, time the um developers of Timefall will be making a, a new Star Wars third person action game. EA announced this today that Respawn Entertainment is working with the publisher to create a third person action adventure game set in the Star Wars universe. Far away is being led by God of War three creator director Stig. I'm Asmussen. He joined Respawn back in 2014 after leaving Sony Santa Monica studio earlier that year. It sounds like a separate team is working on Titanfall 2. Well, I hope y'all highly excited for that. I know I am. Um, they put I put a lot of trust in this Titanfall developer, especially um I think it's Sam Pella. That was the original developer. That was the original uh, originator of Infinity War who created Infinity War. We we'll just have to check that out. Hopefully, there'll be some more news on this new Star Wars game. Hopefully, they give us a little trailer, snippet trailer like they did with Titanfall 2. We we'll just have to see in the upcoming days leading up to E3. Hopefully, they'll announce all this news at E3. So, we we'll just have to check that out. But this is all the gaming news I got for y'all today. Uh, like my video, dislike my video, it doesn't matter. I'll always be here making videos for you guys on up-to-date gaming news. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. And I just want to thank y'all for even taking the time out to even watch my videos because without you people around the world, there wouldn't be no videos for guys. There wouldn't be no YouTube for guys like me or other people making videos for you guys and girls of up to date gaming news. So until then, y'all take it easy. And don't forget to get right with Jesus. Peace. I'm out.